you to leave, you can leave my house, ma'am, please. You can call. Ma'am, I'm asking you to please leave my house, ma'am, please. Look, 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 look at this. Somebody come look at this. I can't have the right. Ma'am, I do not feel safe, and I'm asking you to please leave my house at this current. Ma'am, at this current moment of the Louisiana law, oh, you think I'm playing on, under Louisiana law, ma'am, I'm asking you to please leave my house. I'm not playing. That's a Western right warning. Entry. That is the first warning. The I second warning, right ma'am, I'm going to go into my home and I'm going to shut my door. I have a right of entry. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell, right, let me tell you. <laughs> we don't care. I'm going to go into my home and I'm going to shut my door. Right I'm live. I'm going to go in my home and shut my door. Right of entry. On guard. If I shut my door and I think someone is attempting to break into my home with a drill. I'm right here. I will let, hey. Right here. Hey, you, you see, see him, huh? I'm you see him, huh? Now I'm finna shut my door, y'all. Y'all, y'all see this, right? Y'all see this? Finna shut the door. Now when I come, when I come back out the door, now when I come, police! Help! Help! Come back out the door. Listen, I'm finna shut my door. When I come back out the door, now y'all see this? I have this right for, of entry. Mr. Police Officer, this is for you for when you pull Read up. Because police. she's finna call you in five seconds when I grab it. Finna grab it. But listen, but listen, I'm, I'm finna. I'm, no, no, this, not you, not you at all. I'm finna grab nothing for you. You don't want to leave my house in a second before I grab what I grab. Get the help off my door. I'm not leaving. Leave. Leave. Because I do not feel safe. You finna leave. You gotta leave. You're not finna take my door off. You cannot so do it. Your... What? Man, you cannot do that. Get out of my house. You can smell it. Man, ma'am, you gotta leave. You cannot take nobody's door off their frame. That is illegal. Is you crazy? No. I would have kicked her chest in. I would have kicked her chest in. You're not touching my door frame. You're not drilling my property. I would have kicked your chest in. Don't touch my, my property. Now, Shorty really lost her fucking mind. There's no way that you're gonna come to my door. First of all, don't point that fucking drill at me. Second of all, you holding on to a fucking weapon and trying to push my way, push your way into my house. Even if you're the landlord, you can't do that. That's what he's talking about. Where he's saying, under Louisiana law, I'm about to shut my door. I done warned you, I'm about to shut my door. You try to break this door open, I'm gonna go and grab something. She thought he meant, I'm gonna grab you. That would have been my first move, is to grab, first of all, your little flimsy arms. I'll snatch that drill from you so fast and be like, get out of here before I break your fucking arm. Or slam the door in her hand. The, the right. door was right in the, the, her hand was right, right. in the frame. I would have slammed it right. and she wouldn't be drilling shit. Right, because you, because you need to keep your, 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 your arms and legs out of the precipice of my home. If you don't have any right to be in there, you can't reach into my house. It doesn't work like that. You wouldn't be reaching or grabbing or drilling shit because I'm closing the door on your hand on the door frame. And guess what? It would have been broken. You wouldn't be able to do shit. Guess what? Go, go yeah, ahead. Yeah, but she, the cops. but go thing ahead. is, you, you pull it back and she's going to fucking try to take the door off the hinge she from the outside. She can if her hand is broken. No, you're right. That's true. She, she, can't. Have to... she doesn't have a functional fucking hand and it would have been slammed between the door, her hand and the door frame. And guess what? She would have been crying and sitting there. Then she had to call, call the, the cops. Go ahead. I have the proof. But we really I know. I have the proof. We know what go he was ahead. talking about. When he said, what? When I'm going to go grab. He going to grab that burner. <laughs> a hot fire. That's what he going to go grab. He going to go grab that and come back out. And then she going to scream ah! and call the police. That's what he mean. But he would have a legal right to menace your ass right out of his out of his, out of his house. You want to drill? I got to drill for you. If you, he he's referring to what is in most states, in where if you are using force to break into somebody's house, they can kill you. They can use deadly force to stop you from violently she's breaking into trying, someone's house. She's literally trying to do that. That's what you're doing. Like in New York, burglary is a violent felony, and you can use deadly force to stop a violent felony. So. You you catch somebody trying to break into your house, that may be the last sunrise that morning you ever saw. Because it's over with. What the fuck's wrong with these people? What gives you the the audacity and the the the, the self-confidence to try to break into a house of someone who could easily kick your ass? You don't even need a weapon. You need to beat the shit out of you. So why is it that you feel so safe and comfortable to come to my door with a drill and act like you can just do whatever you want? And somehow you think you're going to make it out of this situation with all your arms and legs and every your teeth in your mouth and everything like that. That shit don't make no fucking sense to me. Like, she really thinks she's going to call the police and the police going to be on her side? The fuck you talking about? I thought that was a cop behind her. No, nah, no, nah, that's probably somebody. Maybe that's worked for her. Like I said, maybe she's talking about she got a right of entry. Maybe that's the landlord. You have a right of entry as the landlord, but not like that. There are procedures that you have to follow. Like, I think you got to give notice to the tenant. Before you show up and shit like that, you can't. They, it's it's no what matter. You're trying to say it smells in there. Yeah, like a, weed a, a, or a weed or something. Either way, then you better call them. If that's illegal, call the police. But what you can't do is just break into my house. And even if you're the landlord, that doesn't matter because this is my house. I'm renting it from you, which means all Still the all the 
for the purposes of me living there, it is my property. Right. All the legal rights and um, everything that come with living in a place, using a place as your domicile, you get by renting. The only thing that you don't have is full ownership over the property. So in, in, in law, they treat ownership of property like a bundle of sticks, right? One stick is you can use the property. One stick is you can sell it. One stick is you can um, maybe do something else with it, right? So there are multiple things that you can do with property and those things can be assigned out to different people. That's why a person who, the landlord who owns a building, he has sold basically the right to use the property for the purposes of the domicile. So he's to you, you're, you're renting it, you're, you're leasing, you're paying, you're paying money and in return for your money, you get the ability to use the house as your domicile, to use the property. That that, but however, that doesn't mean that you can like call up a realtor and fucking sell it. You don't own it. You're renting it, right? So th that's the difference. So the fact that she might own that building does not give her the right to take off the door off the front of my house. It doesn't work like that. Like it's the same reason why when your landlord wants to evict you. They have to go through all type of fucking machinations to evict you. Put, put a paper, wait for this amount of time, call the sheriff. It doesn't matter how much they don't like you. You got 30 days. They can't give you any more, yeah. any less. Or, or, or more, depending on what the period oh, they is. they can't give you more. Okay. They, it can be more. It can be, they can be required to give you more, depending on what the but period of the, less. of the renting is. It depends, it it, it depends on the state. Really? It depends on the state. But, ge but, but generally speaking, 30 days is probably accurate. Mm-hmm. So it's just like they, they can't do that. And if they evict you, like like if, a, if you don't pay your rent and the landlord goes in the room and, and throws all your shit out on the street, mm -hmm. you're entitled to, in New York, triple damages, mm -hmm. which is three times the normal amount of damages because that's how egregious the law sees people mm -hmm. doing that type of shit is. And that's no different than what she's doing. She's overstepping her bounds. Basically, two wrongs don't make a right. Not, not even. <laughs> though th These are two unrelated wrongs. Yeah. Right? The fact that I don't pay my rent doesn't really have anything to do with, with the procedures by which you have to evict me. Yeah, <laughs> literally. You have to, if I'm paying it and you want to evict me, you got to go by by that. If mm -hmm. I'm not paying it, you still got to go by that. But even if so, like you're saying, uh, say like a tenant destroys the property of the landlord's, you know, you have to evict me. Yeah, you have to call the, the police. The landlord can't go in there and destroy their property because no. they destroyed the no. house. The only That's way you only could do something to them is if you catch them destroying the property. Right. right, but like if the property is being something's happening, so you can evict them, you can call the police, you can sue them for the damages, but you can't really go in. You can if you see them damaging it, you yeah. can you can you can stop Prevent them. them. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. if it's already damaged, you can't go in there and like so try to burning their clothes, right, or or punish them for for I for damages and like try to throw them out. Like you can't do that. <laughs> That's right. illegal. Stop it, son, because she would have got. Uh, a hyper combo finish the way she was reaching in my door with that fucking drill like bitch that is a deadly weapon like people have been killed with those like really yes a drill uh, torture maybe i don't know about killing you put that to your temple and see what happens to you. oh yeah true right? bore everything <laughs> you can bore it you, you you could hurt me by boring into a place where i got an artery mm -hmm. you have like true true like don't put oh yeah what am i thinking italian gangsters right boxes, all the, the yeah. first time she pointed that drill at me i'd have snatched that out of her hand give me that shit what, <laughs> what point was she get the fuck from my, my drill you're trying to take off my door hinge first she tried to drill the lock in the, in the inside and i presume maybe this is one of those retarded houses where the fucking door hinges are on the outside so she about to go drill the hinges let me tell you something you build a building don't put the door hinges on the outside if someone wants to break into your door house they'll just knock the hinges off from the outside and take off the door. Stupid. Get the fuck out of here, Karen, son. Somebody should have hooked on her. Fuck wrong with her dumbass.